All right, guys, this is uh, possibly one of the last update for the 65 gallon tank. You notice the room is really quiet because the power has been off for four days, four and a half days now. And um, I've been keeping it going by doing water change and uh, do using an air pump. But unfortunately, there's only so much I can do. Things are still alive, although they're starting to die off. Water is slowly turning white and Bristol worms are crawling out to die. So that's never a good sign. However, things are still doing okay. Um, look up here, cleaner shrimps, roast anatomy, although they're closed up, but they're still attached firmly. Frog spawns, mushroom and stuff, no sign of disintegration yet. So what? Akins, all of them, they're, they're, they're doing fine. But water is um, getting a white tint, meaning um, there's a bacteria boom. Meaning um, there might be a lack of oxygen. So obviously one power, not power head, one air stone is not enough to uh, drive a 65 gallon tank. So what I've decided to do is um, talk to my friend and I'm going to give all the livestock to him and probably going to sell off the equipment. It'll be kind of sad, but you know. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. I don't want everything to get wiped out. I don't want to bother with selling things, so I'm just gonna give them off. Now, this tank has been a really interesting experiment. It has no sump, no filter, no no skimmer. I just have one MP40 pushing pushing water, and that's it. Basically, it's a fishbowl, and everything has been doing well. Now, I to I need to add that. I've been keeping like really easy to keep corals, like soft coral, LPS, uh, zoas and stuff like that. I would not even attempt to do something like this with um, full SPS tank. Granted, I do have a pretty big SPS um, Superman frag that's doing really well, but still, I mean, just not stable. It's not stable enough. So my plan for the future is to sell all these equipment get a cube tank maybe it's like in the 120 gallon range and try to go the go the conventional route do things right have a have a nice sump got a calcium reactor skimmer obviously and i'm probably gonna experiment with led lighting and see how things goes i want to try sps because like i never really got too much into it because i've always been going about reef keeping in a pretty haphazard way and i want to see how big a difference it makes Well, again, really sad day. After 4.5 days of no power, thank you, Pepco. Gonna throw in the towel, keep off all the livestock, and just restart down the road. And I hope you guys have enjoyed my videos. I'm not the most responsible reefer, but... I'll miss, I'll miss this, guys.